Thanks, uh, Jordan. I'm sure they're always good points, even if the game didn't come out. So give us both good and bad, just short versions of what you saw in, in either case. <clears throat> well, I think it, we'll see about that last night. Did anybody see the end of that, that LSU game? Yeah. Right? So <clears throat> USC has, I think it's four to six yards to, to get into field goal range. Mm -hmm. And so they're in a, a cover two concept. That corner, I'm sure, knows not to give up that line, mm -hmm. right? And they flash a low route, and he jumps it, opens up the whole shot, he throws it, safety comes over the top, ends up in a targeting penalty. 15 yards, the game is over. Now, my point is, is the intent of the player is all good. They're trying to make a play to help their team. Mm -hmm. And so the – that's to me. That sums up the positive and the negative. And if I go through, especially the second quarter, um, that's kind of where where it fell. There was, um, you know, and, and just to relate that back, you know, KK on the first on the little skinny post ball for the touchdown. He he sees the route. He breaks on the route instead of just break, being patient, and breaking on the ball. Now he's trying to make a play, and so that that was. You know, I don't. You know, we talk about effort, aggression, and toughness, and I didn't see a lack of any of those things. And that aggression sometimes can, it can, it can bite you. And in good football teams, when you make those mistakes, they they find them. Um, and so, and that was those are things that that are mistakes. They're mistakes that are very fixable. You know, it's, it's I hate that you have to fix them and that kind of atmosphere and that kind of team in, in week one, but it is what it is. And, and, you know, last thing I told them before we left the hotel was that we don't need anybody to do anything special. We just need you to do your job. And, you know, that was, and, and that's tough in that, in that kind of environment, which was great. Our fans were great. Uh, uh, it was the best man trip I've been a part of. That was all awesome. Uh, so you just got to, you know, kind of come, come to calm and do your job. If we did that, we'd be fine. Right before halftime, obviously gave up the big play. Play just yeah. So I mean, that's that's an easy uh, and that's that's a fair question. I, that, I, what I think what I did wrong, and I'll take way more ownership. Like throw darts at me, don't throw darts at the players. So the tendency and the personnel and the formation was what it was, mm -hmm. and I played that a little more than probably played the uh, the situation, which is what you know hindsight twenty twenty should have did. But elected for pressure, put our best man cover guy where he was, which he is, and Garnett makes that play nine out of ten times at practice. Um, and so, and I trust him to do it again. But if I put him in that situation again, now, again, played the tendency of that, what they were in and what they were doing more than I played the situation. And that's a mistake on my part. How did you become more effective on first and ten? Seemed like there weren't a lot of short yardage, second down situations? Yeah, well, I mean, you it's the easy answer is pressure. And the hard part of the pressure <laughs> against what we know they like to do and what that guy's always done is that's when he's always making you adjust. So you can pressure yourself right into a huge play, a touchdown play on first down, if you're not careful. Now, we had a couple of those on first downs where we did send pressure and we were very effective on it. Um, early on when you're, you know, we saw two personnels um, that you just kind of had to guess you would see, which we expected. We expect to see things. I mean, that's game one stuff. And so when you're, as you're adjusting through that, you're, you're again, you're staying pretty basic just to figure out, all right, where, where are they going with this? What are they trying to do? And some of those, some of those came on those, some of those yardage plays on those first downs come in those that scenario. And then when we settled in, I thought we were fine. <clears throat> what do you see out of Albany? So obviously a team that's won a lot of games, they know how to win, they're very well coached. Um, they do a good job um, with how just how far along I am with them, especially in the run game. They know who to block um, and they, they very simply do what they do and they're good at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a good player, player. really good player. Say, what do you see yeah. him? Good player, uh, has good vision, um, is patient in their scheme. And you can tell he understands their scheme. And so he's a good player. How did you guys handle the eye candy and all the stuff that, that 
he, he, he normally does. I mean, I thought we were okay. Um, you know, there's always a, again, you, you try to present them as much as you can without, you know, presenting them with too much. And then if they <clears throat> see something that, or if they show you something you haven't seen and it's, it's, you know, you always go back to your, your base rules and, um, and, and go from there. Um, but I thought, I thought we handled it. Okay. You know, not, you know, really, you know, it's the, the three in the second quarter that stick out and none of that was, there weren't, well, there weren't hard plays. They weren't plays where you know, there was a, a whole lot of that, you know, they were just, just mistakes that, that hurt us. Trotter, he ended up with, you know, leading tackler, first college game ever. Which yeah, I thought, I, mean, I, I thought he played. He is what exactly what we thought. I mean, he's he's a guy. He's a great he's a great player. Um, you know, there's expected it going in. There's some, um, you know, the very first um, run out of their uh, where they're motioning to a three back set. Um, I knew as soon as I saw where it hit that he was way, way too fast flow, um, which I, I've thought that going in, you know, he'd be a guy you got to probably have to say, whoa, you know, settle down, slow down, tempo your fit, um, along with your, you know, in the pressure game too, you know, some of those seams um, that the quarterback got out on, we were, we were just a little too fast on how we were, we were running those twists and. Um, some of those were off of pressures that included him with a second level guy come behind him. We were just a little fast early um, trying to get him slowed down. But other than that, and, and you know, that's, you know that going into game one, he wanted to play last year, he wasn't able to, and then game one this year, especially your opponent, uh, he's, you know, he's juiced through the roof. And so that's, and, the, and I'd rather have to do that than say giddy up, you know. Coach, how do you think you did overall against the run game? Singleton eventually broke that one, and that kind mm -hmm. of opened things up for them. But obviously, that was going to be something you had to contain based on the year a year earlier. Yeah, I think I think both their uh, the the top two backs. I think one had one sixteen, popped the big run. Uh, Allen, I think, had twenty five. Um, you know, and the, and the the quarterback stuff's really what kind of ballooned us up a little bit. Um, I just th I thought it was okay. You know, I thought that. With it, Physicality at the line of scrimmage um, was not an issue. Um, we, uh, again, we were a little fast on some of those fits early. Um, we, uh, you know, the, the the big the big ball. We we just again, it's, they're good players. I said this last Monday, and <clears throat> we just we misfit it by half a yard, and and there it goes. And uh, and off that motion, that's a tough formation that they get you in, and you got to get. And essentially, they end up with a big hat on a small hat and you know those things that again you're just playing adjustments as you go but we just you know Ben goes one half a yard this way too too wide and how they like their run game and there it goes it pops that, um, that kind of what happened on the one that he popped because at 40 no that's yards, exactly what that's what okay. happened I mean, he, okay. he he ends up just a half a yard too wide and those guys are really good players they're a good running back you know they hit that thing with shoulder square downhill and if you are not tied off that rail and there's a seam in there, then that's what a good player does. And that's any good running back does that. And you just, again, you just do your job the way, you know, and we had seen that play last week. It was one of the ones we, we figured <clears throat> we were saying that, hey, we know we're probably going to see this. You just got to fit it right you know, when things are moving fast. Discuss that a little bit, but hard to get turned around, or not hard? No, I mean, like I said, I mean, we're I evaluate them on three things: is their effort, and their aggression, and their toughness. Um, and I did not. We finished the game in the way we want, you know, the way you want to finish the game. Obviously, the result is not. We, we didn't play well enough to win the game. We didn't do the things against a good opponent that you have to do. No matter what the invite, no matter everything that's surrounding it, you just you have to go and do your job in the manner in which you're taught to do it. Now, the manner in which they're taught to do it, I thought that they did overall. Um, and again, you know, the, there's so many corrections that are glaring because the the magnitude. I get it. I'm not blind, deaf, or dumb. Um, but they 
finished it. There was never an effort issue. You know, I go, I go back to last year, you know, and everybody complained about the, the, them scoring that last touchdown. Well, hell, it's our job to stop them. And I thought we just kind of give in to them. And there was zero of that on Saturday. And so that's how I know we got a chance. No, we got to make the corrections. We got to, we got to, we got to do it. We got to play better within our job, no matter what the situation is, and no matter if we're playing Albany or Alabama. You know, so I don't, I'm not discouraged at all um, about this group. You know, it's just make the corrections, move. We get a, new, we got another opportunity this week, and we only get 11 more of them, guaranteed. Whatever happens after that is how well we do in those 11. And so we're, that's all. That's where all my mind is on. You know, we can't. You know, can't change anything from Saturday. We had a shot. We didn't play well. Move on. I know it's only Monday. Did you watch anything of Albany yet? Do you have anything on yeah. what to expect from yeah. them? I mean, I, I start, you know, you know, the way my mind works is, you know, it takes a while to get from here to Cheat Lake <laughs> after games. So <laughs> I have an iPad, and I, gra I grade it right there. My wife drives home. I grade the game and watch it. I watch it again on Sunday morning, and I watch it again with the staff, and I watch it again with Coach. And I have a pretty clear understanding of what went well, what didn't go well. And so by the time I get to Sunday afternoon, I know we need I, – I, I see it, fix it. Now I'm, I'm on. I'm on to the next one. And I think our – you know, that's the way our players need to approach it and move on on what you've seen then from, from Albany moving forward on what to I mean, Just like I told him, they're, they're, <clears throat> they're a team that knows how to win, won a lot of games. Um, they're good at what they do. You can tell that they they are who they are. They they, they run their offense. They want to, they're good at running the football, um, good at managing when they ask them to, to throw the football. And they were really good last year, you know, with that kid, um, I, I think, transferred to Miami. Um, but they are – They've got a slot receiver that's be, be the fastest kid on the field when we're on uh, when we're on defense. Good player, transfer, transfer. Se yeah, seven number McGee, seven. Seven McGee. Seven McGee. Yeah. Okay. Transfer from Morgan, and uh, and he looks like that on video. And I'm sure they find some ways, creative ways, to get him the ball in the run game and the pass game. So be a challenge. They're, they're, again, they're they're good at what they do. They're they're they obviously know how to win. And uh, I've done it for a long time. Good football team. I mean, looking at your rotations across all the units on defense, pretty happy with how those work. Any kind of significant changes in who might play where? Or yeah, I th well, I don't know the answer to that yet. But I, I, I think the rotations and number wise, play count wise, were about where, right where we wanted them to be um, throughout the game. You know, in this, uh, you know, the. the um, I'm trying to, what was it, 62? 60, I think 62 total plays. Yeah, we were about, you know, pretty close to that 60 40 percent range with between the, the first group and second group. And we had some, some sub packages where we moved some guys around a little bit um, and did some different things. So was, they, they were pretty close. The evaluation continue this week and then on the yeah. practice field, see what might carry yeah, over to yeah, the future. Yeah. We'll see what carries over for the rest of the season. What we, you know, the, you know, the, the other things about game ones, no matter who you play and how big the game is, is, you get a picture of what you thought you maybe could do in fall camp that maybe not so much or that you can do. And, hey, yeah, we can do this and, and we can be better at it. So you just stack those as you go. Think of the dozen or so snaps you got out of Rodney. Say that again, Mike. So what do you think of the dozen or so snaps you got out of Rodney? No, I thought he did a good job. Um, you know, we ask him, it's very limited. Uh, very limited um, menu of what we ask him to do, um, and that'll that, that'll probably grow as the year goes on. Um, but very simply, ask him to cover, and, and then the reps we had him in, that's what we asked him to do. There, there was there was two in there that that uh, probably wasn't a little fair to him, um, where we were playing the the uh, the two back with the tight end stuff, <clears throat> like it was a one-back personnel until we could figure out what they were trying to do. Once we were figuring out, I think it was two plays, once we figured out what they were trying to do, we got him out of that situation. It never did hurt us, but it, it you know, it was a potential. Um, you know, the, the, the one tackle on the goal line, that was not his, that was not his play to make. So, 
I know that probably looked like it on video or on TV or whatever, but um, I thought it did a good job. Uh, it's not just one person. It's it's different positions, different bodies. Like how, and, and just all the personnel machinations you're talking about too. Is it? It's pretty complicated. I'm guessing trying to figure out who's going to be that extra defender. It could be a safety. Could be a corner. Could be an outside corner who comes inside. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're just. It depends on what you're trying to do based on what they're giving you. And so that could vary week to week. We have a base way, you know, some basic calls that we do out of it with everybody. Um, but just depends on. As we go throughout the week watching our opponent, what we're going to ask that guy to do will be dependent on who it is. Neil mentioned uh, that offense had an issue with the player-to-coach communication system on that first drive. Did you guys have any issues with that at all? No, it, it was um, it was a little bit different. That's you know you can't simulate that environment, and I wouldn't change that for anything. Um, but you can't simulate that, and so. Um, I think they had to really adjust on just how loud they needed to to talk to each other. Uh, the only <laughs> the only issue, and it didn't hurt us, um, was that's a, a button, and one time my hand, you know, slips off. But we still keep our normal operation. So if anything like that happens, we just they go right back to what our normal operation would be. We haven't gotten away from that. So uh, we didn't we didn't have any issues other than them having to adjust with just how how loud our fans were, which is which was good. Greg, did you have a final question? No, the Rocket okay. thing was what I wanted. So All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. This is a backup signal from the yes. sideline. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, guys.